Um, one of the more important things that the EPA is very concerned about with specifically composting biosolids from waste treatment plants or that sort of thing. They're very, very concerned and there's actually standards as far as salmonella, uh, coliforms, that sort of thing, organisms that could make you sick. So my laboratory has, has tested the catalyst, it's tested compost that's been made from the catalyst uh, several times and it's essentially pathogen free. There are no organisms that could cause human disease in, in the product. So these are all normal soil organisms that have been amplified or normal waterborne organisms. And the organisms in the, in the catalyst don't actually destroy other organisms. What they do is they create heat that essentially cooks the organisms. So in a compost, it starts out, it's kind of a, it's a very dynamic population. You'll start out with certain soil bacteria that begin to break down the nutrients, break down the cellulose, break down the nutrients that are in the compost material into base nutrients, nitrogens and, and carbons. Some of the organisms need a little bit more heat to do that. So with the biocatalyst, we essentially have organisms that create heat. The actinomycetes will take a normal compost pile. A normal compost pile will develop temperatures up to 50 degrees centigrade, which is 110 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. But with the biocatalyst, the extra input of organisms, you're going to get temperatures that exceed that well into the 150, 160, 200 degree range at times. And that extra heat will completely kill the pathogens. The, any organism that could cause disease is going to be completely sterilized. Uh, municipal landfills, dumps, uh, swamps, any bacterial life or even fungal life puts off odors. So if we, if we balance the organisms, the organisms that produce odors are not going to survive. A gram of soil is about what you could fit into a pen cap. So if we drop a gram of this 2 billion, 200 million, um, almost trillion number of organisms, they're hungry. They want, they want to eat. So you supply them with these organic materials, they're going to spread so rapidly throughout the compost pile that again, having such a high concentration of organisms in the catalyst gives you a head start. And these guys are looking for more food. So each one of those billions of organisms is going to go off and make billions of more organisms just by dividing. You know, and that's, that's another interesting thing. In the catalyst, most organisms in the environment will double probably every two hours. Some of the mold will double every two days. Whereas with the catalyst, we're seeing doubling times multiplication times of less than 20 minutes. So every 20 minutes you start out with two organisms, you have four, 20 minutes later you have eight. But when we're working with Catalyst, within 20 minutes our two billion is now four billion, our four billion is now eight billion, and that's really how it spreads throughout the compost. It becomes just a, a voracious eating machine and they just work their way through the compost very quickly. Yeah, and the biosolids end up completely clean, safe, there's, there's none of the human organisms in there that we started with. They've, essentially the organisms that started in the biosolid have been cooked, they've been burned up and replaced completely by the organisms from the catalyst, which again are just normal soil organisms and it creates a wealth of nutrients. You look at some of these bags of compost that you get at you know one of your you know, big box home stores or something like that, you don't really know if that's had the chance to cook at higher temperatures to be able to eliminate. In fact, some companies will actually take their compost and put it through an oven to try to match what the, the Harvest Quest catalyst can do on its own. And then the fertilizer companies, they're, they're throwing you know, straight nitrogen, straight chemicals onto the crop. Of course, there are no organisms in there, but again, it's just it's straight organisms. So there are no pathogenic bacteria left in this process. The, the catalyst heats the compost, the wind rose up to a high enough temperature that nothing can survive in there as far as human pathogens. This is our higher temperature incubator for the thermophilic organisms that we're seeing in the, in the Harvest Quest. These organisms, uh, being thermophiles or heat lovers, 
can actually grow up to 180, 190 degrees Fahrenheit. So we need an incubator that can actually go to that high of a temperature. And they actually thrive at those temperatures and grow much quicker at those temperatures.